Dr. Eric Herman says there's a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, trouble with memory and breathing issues, and some of these can last for a year or longer. When Karen Bishop got COVID, she never imagined it would ruin her health and compromise her ability to raise her 11 year old son, Gianni. I just had this overwhelming fatigue, this overwhelming lingering cough, and I started noticing like significant memory issues. Karen's condition is called long COVID. Dr. Eric Herman says it's common in people who've had minor COVID infections. A lot of people have symptoms for months after they've been infected. The most common is fatigue. In the last two years, doctors have learned more. But we've seen other estimates where um, some people will persist having one symptom you know, over 50% of people will have at least one symptom for a long time. Dr. Herman says another important discovery doctors have made when it comes to long COVID involves vaccinations. You're less likely to get long COVID if you've had an infection and been vaccinated as opposed to if you haven't been vaccinated. So again, stressing the importance of vaccinations. Dr. Herman says it's important for people dealing with long COVID to pace themselves once you've had it. He advises monitoring symptoms for three months. If you develop new symptoms in that time, seek medical care. It could be long COVID. It's still too early to know the ultimate long-term prognosis, but most people are recovering. Karen has yet to recover. The condition has already cost her her job as a paramedic. After termination, um, it was a huge battle with the workers' compensation. Um, workers' compensation ended up getting denied. Dr. Herman says dealing with long COVID can also be hard on people emotionally. It's normal to develop depression and anxiety.